Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm taking a tug in to Dad's camper outlet. The outdoor kitchen door has come in and the graphics have come in and I have scheduled with them to take it in this morning and let them fix it. And they're supposed to fix it while I'm there and uh, I'll be bringing it back here to storage after we're done. There's the door that's gonna get replaced. Along with the graphic that's uh, scratched up. And uh, let's go ahead and open this up, see what condition it's in right now. This has been kind of difficult to open lately because uh, it opened a little better today though. We leave our refrigerator door open so it don't get moldy, but we'll shut it for while we're going down the road. And uh, looks pretty good in here. There's the arm bracket where there should be a bracket anyway, just like that one over there. Um, get all that fixed up. Anyway, you look around here, the seal here, I don't know if they're going to have to replace this whole frame here or not. But it's the way it looks before I take it in. sealed up pretty good actually let's go ahead and shut this lock it down and get a shot of the frame up here that I don't know if it's going to be replaced or not This is the day we've been waiting on. We're taking tug to, well, I'm taking tug to uh, Dad's camper outlet. The uh, outdoor kitchen door has come in finally, and the uh, graphics that got scratched to come in, have came in. And uh, I've taken a day off work. This is a Tuesday. It looked like Tuesdays were their least busy days up there because it's a madhouse there on the weekends, it seems. So uh, I scheduled with them to have this done today. Um, it's about 9 o'clock in the morning. And I should be there shortly and we'll see what happens all right just to get you up to speed uh, while I'm on my way there um, the service manager there uh, all of a sudden wanted to turn it over to a new person Sarah which has been she's been super nice but uh, the story had started to change and uh, I wasn't liking the, the way the story was changing that she was uh, probably gonna get communicated from uh, from the service manager so uh, I had to get the owner Dennis Lee involved and uh, I emailed him the whole story from the start uh, um, up till up to um, until the story started to change uh, from the service manager and uh, he called me we've had a, two or three conversations since then and yeah he had a, a slightly different story than what uh, what I believe the truth was and what the truth and what also what the service department originally said until it started changing so at any rate we talked it through over two or three uh, phone conversations and uh, and uh, they're gonna go ahead and get the job done and uh, it's not gonna cost me anything except for my time and uh, gas money and all that I guess so it is costing me something but uh, at any rate, um, I, I was able to work it out with Dennis. He seems like an under, understanding guy and a fair guy. Um, it's just that he was given um, a slightly incorrect story about what happened and what needs to be done. Anyway, uh, when I get there, uh, I think we're going to be in good shape. I hope they get it done today because, like I said, we got a... Uh, a camping weekend plan for this weekend. The weather's supposed to be beautiful. All right, we'll see you when we get there. Bye bye. All right, we're about um, half a mile from Dad's camper outlet. In point two miles, turn left on South Hall Avenue. Not even that. I see a sign right there. This is our turn. Turn left on South Hall Avenue. We're 
about 10 Continue minutes late. Three miles to address 1380 on the left. I guess I could turn that GPS off. We're about 10 minutes late. Hope they don't hold that against me. Considering how late they've been. Looks like they've had some rain here. Lots of rain puddles. Water puddles. Alright, I have to tell you, I'm a little nervous about all this every time I come up here. Well, things get done. I can't talk bad, I guess. It's just, uh, this has been an ordeal this time. It's not as busy uh, as a weekend, that's for sure. I'm glad I picked a Tuesday. There's not much going on here, don't look like. Park it here. Go on inside and see what's go up. See what's up. I'm gonna keep the camera in here. I'm not gonna take it inside. Um, with the way this has been going, I'm not too sure they want me to film, but uh, we'll see. All right. Uh, Aaron met me inside. He came out with me, and uh, he might just do the work right here where the trucks with the trucks hooked up to it. So that's a good sign. We might get this done uh, after all today. Uh, I'll see if he minds being filmed. If he don't, that's okay. Don't hold that against him. Dad's camper outlet. Pecune, Mississippi. Is that heavy? Looks like it should come. Oh, I still got one screen left in. I see it. Looks better with a door on it. <laughs> See, there's a little scraper you're talking about. We just go around like the edge of oh, the windows okay. and it just it makes it so. Like, like it doesn't scratch your yeah, you uh, press hard, fiberglass you scrape, or anything? Yeah, it don't, it don't scratch nothing. Very cool. Okay. So they got like a little steel uh, frame around there. Okay. Yeah, I, I think the whole walls are uh, aluminum. Okay. All right, he's got the door off. Trying to clean the uh, silicone up around it or the tape they use when they seal that door shut. And uh, there's the old door laying right there. There's the old door, y'all. So, doesn't look too bad from the outside. Need some help? Well, so I thought these things were supposed to come with the graphics. My key was supposed to work in there, they thought, but it don't. So he's going to see if he has another key for it. And plus, uh, there's no graphics on it. He's hoping they have the graphics for it. Me too.
Oh yeah. I did replace this bracket, huh? Yeah. There's a hole there. I didn't know that bracket got replaced even. Alright, All right. they, they might not have replaced it. It might have been stripped or something. They moved it down or something. Hmm, okay. Oh yeah, I'm gonna see all that out. I'm gonna take my thing. Oh yeah. Oh Jesus. Hey, I just found one of them rocks that people hide. If you find it, you could keep it or rehide it. And I looked down and there was a cool looking little rock down there. Just laying there. If you read the back, it says Hub City Rocks. Keep or rehide? I think I'm going to rehide it. Kind of a strange place to find find it out here in the middle of a RV dealership. All right, that's one of the first ones I found. I've seen other YouTubers finding them. Interesting. Where should I hide it? Let's put it. Uh, actually, I'll take it. I'll take it with me. And we'll rehide it. We'll rehide it out camping next time. Buy some trees. Y'all, it's hot out here. Uh, I wore the wrong shirt today. Don't wear black when it's so hot. Sweating. And I can't go nowhere because I didn't unhook. Should have unhooked. Could have ran and got some lunch, cooled off, and all that. Oh well. Supposedly there's a uh, good Mexican restaurant over here. I'm not too hungry. I don't normally eat lunch, but uh, it's so hot. I need at least uh, something to drink. Go in there and get a get a soda, a pop, a coke, whatever you want to call it. All right, and uh, he's gonna think about getting that uh, scratch decal off, putting the new one on, and then he needs to go see if they have the decals for the door. I'm a little worried that they don't have the decals for the door. He acted like he was surprised they didn't come with the door, but uh, I had a feeling. Anyway. Let's see what this place has over here. It's just supposed to be right over here somewhere. There it is. I don't know what the name of it is yet. Or maybe I'll just... All I really want is a drink. Yeah, let's see if there's a bar in there. I'll sit at the bar and maybe eat some nachos and a Coke. I don't know. El Marache. Hot. That was good. It was okay, I guess. <clears throat> I've had worse. I got the uh, chicken plantas, or however you say it. They were good, I guess. And uh, heading back to see where they are on, on tug here. All right, Aaron's got the one sticker that was scratched on. It looks good. It's good to me. But we don't have the stickers for the door yet. Um, they thought they came with the door, but they don't. So if we don't have them, we can't put them on. He's going to show me how uh, one of these stickers goes on. And uh, I can either bring it when the stickers come in, I can either bring it up here and they'll put them on. Or uh, if I feel comfortable doing it, I'll just take it just send them to me. Anyway, he was going to show me how it works. I mean, you can get as wet as you want. And that way, the wetter, the better until you get it set. But then now, well, you see, now, you, now you can do whatever you want with it. Put it right on a wet door, even. Yeah. See, you can do whatever you want with it. Put it anywhere you want. And if it starts to dry and you ain't got it where you want it to be at, then uh -huh. you can get it wet again. Gotcha. And just once you get it like that, once you get it set, say that's set right there. Uh huh. You don't let it dry. Oh, you're going to take your car, the license, you know, just move out the bubbles or whatever. Push the water out, okay. 
dry. They don't, they don't really come off. Then you just let that dry. Let it dry, and then you just pull, and then pull you, off the yeah, back then you'll, then you'll feel this piece off. You might want to get like a corner, actually, before, you, before it dries. Oh, uh, so you got something to grab, okay. Yeah. Assuming when they come, it's going to be the whole sticker. It's going to be the whole sticker. And then you got to. So do you, you cut gotta, it before? Or? Well, I do. I just trip it up. Like, I'll take this piece. <laughs> and I'll leave it about an inch longer. Uh -huh. I'll line it up first. I'll just stick back the whole sticker on it. On, and then I'll actually cut. While it's wet? or No, while it's uh, before I stick it on. Before oh, before you stick it on. Okay. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll leave an inch hanging. Like, you have to cut this part and this part, so I'll leave an inch hanging right there, yeah. right there, and right here. Okay. And on this, I just leave the inch off on the inch hanging over. That way you can work it in, and then while it's wet, then I yeah. slide it up in there. Uh -huh. You yeah. graph it or whatever, and then you can just hold it and then cut it with a knife. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, well, um, that doesn't look too hard. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty easy. All right, well, um... Get the stickers ordered, then you somebody's gonna call me or I'll check. Yeah, I'm a, uh, did we got the address or anything? Or uh, I need to see if uh, oh, yeah, you just gonna directly ship to me, probably. Okay, uh, I mean, if you want, I mean, or are you probably good? Really no, I'd rather just have them come to me. Okay, Dennis was telling me about some um screen guard kit to keep uh, like some sort of like a wasp or something going up in there and building a uh, nest up in there. Which will cause uh, it not to light. I guess that happens quite often. And the kit also has guards for here, 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 and here. It's like $70. Um, I'm going to think about it, but it does seem like a good idea. Right now we're having trouble getting these uh, locks here to grasp this. So it will stay locked and shut. You would think that that wouldn't be a problem because this door came with this frame. Uh, but now that it's on there, it won't grab. So Aaron ran off to uh, get something to try to make it work. All right, the door's done. We just need the stickers on it. Um, I think I already went over what we're going to do with the stickers. Um, decals, whatever you want to call them. And then we're going to do those uh, screens for these three guys here so the bugs don't get up in there and uh, build, net, build nests and whatnot. Other than that, I think we're ready to go. Aaron's in checking to see if they have the kit, and if they do, it's going to take about 20 minutes. It's getting way too hot. Here it is, they have a couple of nice little rocking chairs, though. You can sit in the shade and uh, watch somebody work on your camper. There's Tug. Don't think I've ever had that open. All right. Yeah. All right, it looks like there's already some nests being built down on there. Uh, I see why you need those screens. So there's nests back in there, y'all. Well, we got something to get those out with. It's already some nest up in there. Is there? Yeah, trying to get them out. I got them out, out from underneath there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You got all them dirt daubers right here? Yeah. Yep. All right, I got them uh, dirt, dauber, dirt, dauber. dirt dauber nests out of there. I never heard that term before. It must be a southern bug or something because up north I don't remember having to worry about that. But uh, hopefully what Aaron's doing here will take care of that. Y'all need to go do that. I thought they were just trying to make a buck, but I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's really, really important.
There's that one on the water heater. One's going to go there. That one's kind of frustrating to put on, so we're saving that for last. Mm -hmm. And this area here for sure needs them. out of here this time now we're done I told you about the stickers here's those screen guards uh, see up in there and uh, I think they are pretty important we had some mud divers up in uh, behind the uh, refrigerator uh, gas hookup area and uh, that wouldn't have been good if they kept building up at any rate I need to hook up the one last connection here then I'm gonna get out of here See you later.